Good evening, everyone. I'm Jerry D'Ambrosio, Manager of Educational Content with VectorVest, and it's my pleasure to bring to you tonight's special presentation. Discipline and the ability to control emotions are just a few of the characteristics that separates the very best traders from the average retail investors. Tonight, I'm going to demonstrate a proven, easy-to-follow system for shorting stocks that takes the guesswork out of swing trading. But first, let's dive into some of these characteristics. First, a professional trader places trades based on facts and data rather than a gut feeling. You know, we've all been there earlier on in my career when I first started. I would place trades or buy stocks just because I had that feeling, right? That gut feeling that the stock was going to go up. Professional traders, they don't think this way. They look solely at the information in front of them to make decisions. Next is they're prepared. They know exactly when they're going to get out of a trade, even before getting in. They've examined and tested different techniques to figure out which one is best. Next is that they control their emotions. I know this is easier said than done, uh, but they don't allow losing trades to affect them. They don't think of the money first. They focus on doing the right things, making the right trades. They know if they do that consistently, the money will come. And then finally, uh, most importantly, I think, professional traders are disciplined. They stay sharp and focused when things are going well, but they stay resilient when things aren't going so well. So they have a plan and they stick to it. So tonight, what I want to show you is a technique called the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail was developed by Linda Bradford Ratchke. You may have heard of her. She's written books. She's been trading the financial markets for decades now. She has a ton of experience. She's done a lot of work with Larry Connors as well. The principle behind the Holy Grail setup is to take advantage of a retracement to enter in the direction of the emerging or existing trend. Now, I'm going to lay this all out on paper first so we get to read it, understand conceptually what the system might look like before we get into the charts. We're going to look at a lot of charts here, uh, but I want to lay all this out first so we get an idea of what we're looking for before we get in. Now, I love this technique because it's just it's so simple. It uses two indicators. That's it. A 20-day simple moving average and a 14-period ADX, average directional indicator. So we look for the 14-period ADX to be greater than 30 and rising. That's our initial observation. We want the 14-period ADX to be greater than 30 and rising. This will identify a strongly trending market, a strongly trending stock. The ADX indicator doesn't identify or tell us the direction of the trend, just the strength of the trend, whether there is trend or not. Sometimes a stock could be channeling and not hitting higher highs or not hitting lower lows, and the ADX will be at a lower value. But the higher above 20, 25, 30 it goes, that just indicates a strongly trending stock. So since this is a shorting technique, we look for the price of the stock to rise up to the 20 period moving average. So picture a downtrending stock, a stock that's hitting lower lows and lower highs, and is below the 20 period simple moving average. What we look for is right at that time, as the stock begins to rally towards the 20 day, we want that 14 period ADX to be above 30 and rising. We look for the price to rise up to the 20 period simple moving average, kiss it, which means land on it or touch it, and when that happens, usually the price move, that up move towards the 20 period simple moving average will be accompanied by a turn down in the ADX indicator. That's okay. When the price touches the 20 day simple moving average, we place a sell stop order below the previous day's low. Very important to time your entries with these short term swing trades precisely. You don't want to leave a lot of money on the table. You want to be exact in when you enter and exit trades. So the exact price is laid out for us here. It will be the low of that KISS candle. That is the price at which we want to take the position short. Okay, again, we'll look at some charts in a moment. Exit criteria. Once filled, we're going to enter a protective stop at the newly formed swing high. So again, picture what's happening here. Price has rallied towards the 20-day. The stock is downtrending. 
it retraces off and pulls off of that 20-day moving average. You enter the trade, that kiss or the newly formed swing high that you just entered off of is where you put your protective stop. Very low risk trade. We're not giving the stock a lot of room to go against us. If the stock rallies after we enter and crosses above that newly formed swing high, we're out of the trade. Trail the stop as profits accrue and look to exit at the most recent swing low. So that's where we're going to look to cover the short position at the newly formed swing low. If you think the stock may continue to move lower, exit part of the position at the recent swing low and tighten your stop on the balance. Uh, and what you could do, you could take your initial stop Remember where we set it at the newly formed swing high. Bring that down to your entry price. So you take profits off the table. You let the rest run. If it does run, you continue to move the stop lower and lower. But the initial stop can be moved to your entry price once you reach your initial profit target. After a successful trade, the ADX must once again turn above 30 before another retracement to the 20-day simple moving average can be traded. Okay, so let's hop into the VectorVest program. And the first thing I want to do, you know, I spent some time there talking about shorting stocks, covering positions. What exactly does that mean? The first resource that I want to take you to is in the VectorVest view. So I'm just going to go to the views here and I'm going to go to special reports. Dr. Delito wrote an essay, a special report here called How to Short Stocks. I'm going to refer you to this. You can go ahead and read the report here just to get a little bit more of an understanding on, on how to short, what does shorting mean? Now you do need a margin account. That's the one thing that I'll say uh, to short stocks. You do have to have a margin account with your broker. So next I'm going to go into viewers. And when the market is rising, which it's not now, but when the market is rising and we advocate to buy safe, undervalued stocks that are rising in price. Those are the types of stocks that we want to buy long in a rising market. Well, if we're going to play the market to the downside, we're going to look to short stocks. Contra ETFs is another alternative, but we're going to talk about shorting stocks today. You want to favor the total opposite. You want to short risky, overvalued stocks that are falling in price. So I just built a watch list here of those type of stocks. Here are the type of stocks that we want to short. We don't really want to short good stocks. You can make some money doing that, but the probability is not on your side. Shorting good stocks that are pulling off of new highs, we don't want to do that. Again, not a high probability trade. So here we have Neo, Blackline, and Carvana. All three stocks are overvalued. All three stocks have a relative safety score below one. And all three have a relative timing indicator below one as well. So risky, overvalued stocks falling in price. These are the stocks that we want to favor when we're looking to short. They all have sell ratings. Fundamentals aren't very good. Relative value below one on all of those stocks as well. Okay, so let's take a look at our first example. Here's Carvana. I have the two indicators on the chart already. A 20-day simple moving average and the 14-period ADX. And I'm actually going to move both of those up here. You can see how I'm just doing that, just dragging them higher. There we go. 20-day simple moving average, 14-period ADX. So as of this hard right edge here, which is January 3rd of this year, you can see that the stock is falling. It's in a downtrend. Just simply draw an extended line connecting the lower highs just to kind of give you a visual representation that yes, this stock is not uptrending. It's in a downtrend. It's currently right at and has risen towards and kiss the 20 day simple moving average. So the stock is downtrending, hitting a new low. As the stock begins to rally towards the 20 day moving average, that 14 period ADX has to be above 30. So that's going to indicate to us that the trend is strong, not the direction of the trend. It doesn't tell us that. It just tells us that the strength of the trend is strong. We can clearly see that it's in a downtrend in other ways, right? Lower lows and lower highs, and also a downward sloping 20-day moving average. That's what's telling us or, or identifying to us what the direction of the price is. Stock rallies and lands right on the 20-day simple moving average. That is giving us the setup 
the setup to take the trade the following day if price moves lower than the low of that KISS candle, which is 228.99. A couple of slides earlier said put a sell stop order below the low of the KISS candle. 228.99 is the low, so you put a sell stop order in about maybe 13 cents below that. The following day, the order is executed. Now the stock, let me zoom in a little closer here, did not open, or excuse me, it opened above your sell stop price, right, at 238.30. But during the session, as price began to fall pretty much right after the open, once it crossed below and reached your sell stop price, it triggers an order and the order is executed. That is one of the things that professional traders and really good swing traders, they pay very close attention to, precise entries. Not just, okay, no matter what time of day, the next day I'll enter the order no matter what price is doing. We don't want to do that. We don't want to trade that way. We want to follow a very strict set of rules. And knowing the exact price to enter a trade is one of them. So now that the order has filled and the stock is retracing nicely from that down sloping 20 day moving average, where do we look to take profit? At the newly formed swing low, which is right around 197, excuse me. Price reaches that in about two days. A couple of options. You can take half off, sell half your shares. Oh, by the way, where did we set our initial stop? We set our initial stop right above the newly formed swing high. So remember, this was our entry day. That was the day that the order executed. Once it executes, you put a protective stop right above the newly formed swing high. Once you reach profitability and once your profit target is reached, if you want to sell half to position, you can do that. And then what you can also do is now lower your initial stop there to entry so that if the stock happens to rally, you know, another one of these dead cat bounces within this underlying downtrend, stock is going to do that, right? It is going to rally back towards the 20 day eventually. So we take profits, we lower our stop from right above the newly formed swing high to right at entry. So what, what does that do? We took half off. If the remaining half rises back up to entry, we don't make any money on the second half, but we took profits already, so it's a net-net win for us. As the stock price continues to fall, you can continue to trail that, whoops, you can continue to trail that stop lower. Continue to trail it lower and continue to lock in more and more gains. Very, very simple technique, only uses two indicators, and we look to take advantage of retracements within an underlying downtrend. You know, this system has a bullish counterpart. It's the total opposite. You look for a uptrending stock, pulling back towards the 20 day moving average, kissing, retracing off of it. So it is a very effective system in both bullish and bear markets. Let's take a look at NEO. Very similar situation. Downtrending stock, prices hitting lower highs, lower lows, I'm going to use a crosshair cursor now because I'm going to come to the most recent swing low here. we got to make sure that the 14 period ADX was above 30 and it was. You could see the stock rallying, touching that 20 day simple moving average. We put a sell stop price, a sell stop order right below the low of that kiss candle 2505. I'm not sure if we got filled the next day, but it definitely filled the day after. You can give it a couple of days. If price doesn't explode higher the following day after the kiss candle and just blow up the trade, blow up the setup, if price just hovers around that 20 day again for one more day, give it another day or so and you really look for that retracement off of the 20. And that's what we saw there. So protective stop, let me zoom in so we, so we can see it a little bit better. We take the trade. Our protective stop is right above the newly formed swing high. Price continues to retrace off of that 20 day moving average. We look to take profits. Now this one actually didn't go our way right away, right? And that's gonna happen sometimes. Whether you're buying stocks long or selling stocks short, there are gonna be times where you get in the trade and the stock immediately goes the other way. You have your stop in place. There's no reason to panic in that situation. 
Okay, kind of moving sideways for a couple of days. Never crossed above, never closed above our initial protective stop there. Just move sideways for about a week or so. Downtrending, 20-day moving average is still there. And then finally, price falls and reaches your initial profit target. And this is basically the hard right edge now we're looking at today, which is February 25th. Okay, so yesterday could have taken profits. Today, you could start thinking about taking profits off the table. Lowering that initial stop to your entry at the very least. If price continues to fall, you continue to lower that stop to lock in more and more gains. Another example, just to kind of drill this home, here's black line. Now, as of the hard right edge here, December 27th of last year, we're looking at a new emerging downtrend, aren't we? Here, we were in an uptrend for June, July, August, September, October of last year. How do I know it's an uptrend? Well, you just have higher highs and higher lows. However, you could see that the trend really petered out there quickly there at the end of November. But look at what I see. I see an uptrending price, but I see a falling and weakening ADX. Remember what ADX tells us. Not the direction of the trend, the strength of the trend. So as the indicator, as price rises, hits lower highs, that tells me that isn't very strong. So now we're seeing this emerging downtrend. Price falls below the 20-day moving average. Let me take off those lines. Price falls below the 20-day moving average, hits a new low here. 14 period ADX, let me give you my crosshair cursor, 14 period ADX, well above 30. Stock price rises, touches the 20 day moving average. There's your setup. Low of that day was 103.51. We put a sell stop order, an order to short the stock below 103.51, maybe 103.40, 103.39. We want that downside momentum to continue. We want that clear retracement off of that 20 day before we enter the trade. Trade was filled the next day. Price moved lower than our sell stop price. Again, guys, just to repeat, this is very important. The first thing you want to do, where is your initial stop? Initial stop is right above the high of the newly formed swing high. We look to take profits at the most recent swing low. I'm going to step us forward here. Here, price moved a little sideways for a couple of days there as well. Never crossed above our initial stop. We reach profitability. Our initial profit target is reached. You want to take half off. If you do that, then lower your stop now to your entry. Okay, and as price continues, price then retraced again. I wouldn't say this is a new, it actually is a newly formed swing low. Another retracement and kiss of that 20 day and another retracement there. Not that you would have shorted more of it, but again, just a nice little setup uh, as well. Strongly trending stock, that is the key. That is the key. We want to take advantage of these weak rallies towards the 20 day within these underlying downtrends. It's again, the opposite of what you wanna do when you go long. You want to take advantage of the weak pullbacks in an underlying uptrend, right? If you're looking at uh, retracement plays, plays towards a 20 day moving average or back towards a 50 day moving average, buying the dips, you've heard that before. That's what that is. Buying pullbacks within an underlying uptrend. Here, we're selling the rips, we're shorting the rallies within an underlying downtrend. Very effective technique, but one of the things I wanna leave you with is make sure that the vector vest analysis is in place, meaning you wanna favor risky, overvalued stocks that are falling in price. I don't wanna short an undervalued stock with good fundamentals. Maybe it's falling in price, but again, it's not a high probability trade. I wanna make sure these indicators are as you see them. Now you might be thinking, wow, do I have time to look at all the charts here? You know, we went through a couple of charts. I wanted to make sure I was teaching the technique, but you're probably thinking, do I have to go through all of these charts? Well, what I'm about to tell you eliminates all of that time. You know, no matter what we teach you here at VectorVest, we want you to be able to do it faster, smarter, and better. So we've put together a six session webcast series where we'll teach you techniques from three of the very best professional traders in the industry. Linda Ratchke is one of them. 
You'll learn top trading strategies of the pros and how to quickly and easily identify the best trades. I hope you saw that if you learn to implement strategies like the one I showed you today for both bullish and bearish markets, your swing trading portfolio will grow significantly. Here are the modules. Again, it's a six module course. We start things off in module one by getting you in the correct mindset, going over more how pros think, how they behave. Risk management is an important segment in that first module as well as order entry. Then we started to get into different techniques. Module two is how to trade candlestick reversal signals. Module three is how to recognize what the market's doing and apply the appropriate or ideal indicator for that market environment. Then we get into our professionals. Myself and Steve Chappell are your instructors for this course. Steve teaches you more about the holy grail for both bullish and bearish markets. I come in in module five, teach you about uh, two techniques, one called the 50-50 strategy, the other called 80 excellence. Those were developed by Charles Schapp. And then finally, the highlight of the course, in my opinion, I will come in and teach you about the RSI 2 and RSI 25 trading systems developed by Larry Connors. As a special bonus, we're going to throw in one year access to our Master of the Art of Candlestick Analysis. This is a six session webcast series. It is a self study course in the university, normally valued at $9.95. We're going to throw that in one year as a special bonus for Trade Like a Pro. For Trade Like a Pro, we will meet six times live. We'll have six live mastery support sessions. We'll help you digest all of the content that was taught in each module. What I love about these mastery sessions, too, we go into the market on that day. So we teach you the setups and the techniques using historical examples. Then we look at the real market on these mastery session days and uh, go and try to find candidates and apply what we learned in the module to the real market. You'll also get 70 days access to VectorVest Premium if you don't already have it. This includes pro trader searches and the auto timer. We're going to do a bonus session. This is a great session. It's a live trading session. This is where we implement with real money everything that we learned over the course of the six weeks i'll show you guys how to use robotrader to manage your trades and i take you through everything from market analysis stock selection stock setup trade execution trade management and this is huge too exclusively for workshop attendees you will receive pre-built searches that make finding your trades very easy you know i taught you the holy grail bearish today you're probably thinking, do I have to look at all these charts? How am I going to find trades? The legwork has been done already. I built these scans to quickly and easily find the best candidates to trade. They're going to be automatically inserted into your VectorVest programs so you don't have to build them yourselves. You're also going to receive this trading system. This is a trading system that centers around the RSI 2 technique that I will teach in Module 6. 12-year backtest. 55% annualized rate of return, 662% gain, 93% winning trades, 226 winners, 17 losers. The overall market went up 174% over the same 12-year period. Market almost tripled. We outperformed the market long-term with this system quite a bit. More importantly, you get you know, as close to hands-on training as possible by both myself and Steve Chappell. Steve is the Director of Trading Systems Development here at VectorVest. We'll be in the chat rooms, we'll be in the mastery sessions answering any questions that you guys have. Now this course is valued at $29.95. As a special price this weekend, we're going to lower that to $22.95. Here are the dates for the live mastery sessions. We'll begin on March 16th. You can go to VectorVest.com slash TLP to register. And the live trading session will be on April 27th at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And if you are an Elite subscriber, it is half off the regular rate of $1,497.50. Well, folks, I hope you learned a little something today. We're clearly in a downtrending market. You know, we haven't been in a position to buy stocks in a while. So if we want to profit from this falling market, there are some options. And the technique that I taught you today was a great one. On behalf of Steve, look forward to working with you folks at our upcoming Trade Like a Pro course. Take care, everybody. Have a great weekend.